Howdy, everyone. Welcome to the first episode. Yes, the first official episode. I'm not going to count last episode because that was more of a, you know, that was more of a how this was going to go down. So I'm not going to count this one. So this is the first official Hypercast episode one. Congratulations, you made it. So this week, I'm actually going to have a topic. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to try. All right, I'm going to try my best to stay on topic, not deviate too much from what I'm talking about. A few moments later. I don't know about you guys, but I think that they might be putting something on milk nowadays. Cuz I remember when I was younger, I can drink I could drink milk no problem at all. But like recently, I tried drinking like it wasn't just milk, but it was it was chocolate milk, all right? I tried to make myself some chocolate milk cuz there was like nothing else. And oh boy, that was kind of a mistake. <laughs> Alright, so today's topic will be, uh, what art programs do I use? Yeah, so this is, a, this is an art related uh, episode, first episode. Great. So the, the art programs I use and the ones I've used before. So I'm going to start with the very first one I've used when I first started doing digital, when I first transitioned to digital. It was an app called, it was Sketchbook by, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was, Auto, yeah, Autodesk Sketchbook, that's what it was. It's the first thing I've ever used, and I used it alongside like a little cheap $60 tablet. It was like, uh, I didn't have my expensive Cintiq yet. So if you want to, if you want to do digital, if you're planning on doing digital, you know, get yourself like a $60 tablet. It works great. You know, you don't have to go expensive right out the bat. All right. I used that tablet for like the first two years, I think. All right. I, I wasn't very good, but I'm not going to blame the tablet. All right. Or the program. I was going to blame my lack of, my lack of, lack of experience on that one. So if you want to do digital, go cheap doesn't matter all right it's all good it's the same thing all right a lot of professionals use the little tablets well maybe not like the cheap tablets maybe maybe they have like more expensive tablets but tablets or Cintiqs you know they're kind of the same you're just gonna have to get used to the you're gonna have to get used to you know drawing on a tablet instead of a screen but other than that you know same thing go cheap try it out if you don't like it then you didn't spend $500 on nothing. You only spent $60, which is not like, it's not like not a lot of money, still kind of a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to like $500. All right, great. So what was I talking about? Oh yes, the, the app itself. Well, Sketchbook, I didn't really use Sketchbook that much because I switched over to another program that I was already using or already learning how to use called Photoshop and you might be asking hey Photoshop is for like photography what are you doing for illustrations well a lot of people use it for illustrations okay a lot of professionals use Photoshop for illustrations I was already learning Photoshop but not for illustrations I was just learning it the way it was supposed to be used but I, I already knew Photoshop before even like doing digital drawings, so that's why I switched over. It was either, it was either stay and learn Adobe Sketchbook, or switch over and you know use a program I already know how to use, which was an easy choice. I already knew how to use Photoshop, that's why I stuck with it. It's not because it's the best app in the world to use. Oh yeah, and also like a little disclaimer: the apps that I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not saying that these are the best ones to use for like digital illustration. If you have another app that you use and that you're comfortable with and that you like very much, you know, stay with, stick with it. I'm not forcing you to switch over. I'm not saying these are the best. These are just the ones that I use. All right? If you're curious, these are the ones that I just happen to use. Uh, Autodesk Sketchbook was the one that I used the least. But I'm not saying it was, you know, 
bad or anything. I didn't even use it that long, so I don't even I, I don't think I can even form an opinion on the app. But anyway, I think if I go back, um, I might like it. No, you know what? Probably not. I'm already used to other programs. Uh, that being said, I used Photoshop for the the longest time. All right, all my works. I think only like five maybe five really old works that you haven't even seen are from sketchbook one or two might have snuck in but usually all of my work that's in my in my profile is from photoshop and then i switched over to clip studio paint so most recently my works have been with clip studio paint i think if you look at my profile from the time I drew Anemone, from then on, I think that's Clip Studio Paint. And you might notice a little bit of difference. But that's that's kind of another topic where you can you like switch programs and then your style changes dramatically. That didn't really happen with me. Although if you really look closely, you might you might find some differences, okay? Tools are should be different. From programs so there might be differences now why did I switch to clip studio paint well I did switch over but I didn't I'll explain that in detail right now so I was looking to do my comic all right and then while I was doing it I was uh, I was looking at a live stream they were like, uh, it was like a has been hotel live stream with Ashley and, and, and friends. And she said that she actually preferred Clip Studio Paint over Photoshop. And that she really recommended it. And I was like, hmm, interesting. I'm going I'm to go check it out. And I went to check it out. And you know what? I liked it. You know, it was, it was a good program. Actually, I think the reason... Or the number one reason I liked it was because I had more tools to do comics. So that's why I liked it a lot. I mean, you can do comics in Photoshop. And there's just like no tools dedicated to it. So it's going to take you more more work to do comics in Photoshop. Although it is possible. You can, if you want to do comics in Photoshop, go ahead and do that. Uh, you're just going to have to do a little bit more work. But I didn't want to do a little bit more work, all right? I wanted to use those tools to do comics. So that's why I kind of switched over. The tools there for comics and illustrations are a bit more uh, catered towards illustrators, you know, artists. As in Photoshop, you know, it's obviously a photo-based, you know, program. But we use it for illustrations. Now... That's why I switched over, but, but, there's a big but, I still use Photoshop. Why? Why didn't I throw away Photoshop? Well, I use character, character animate, all right? Without Photoshop, I can, you know, can do this rig. This rig is in Photoshop and animate it in character animate. That's why I still use Photoshop. The background is Photoshop. This, this, uh, this microphone is Photoshop. Right? That's why I still use... Oh, also, th there's a lot of uh, tools in Photoshop that I still like using. Uh, for example, uh, backgrounds. And, yeah, like environments are easier to do in Photoshop, for me at least. Because I haven't found similar tools that I use for Photoshop in uh, Clip Studio. So if I ever find similar tools that I use for backgrounds or in environments then I'll you know do them in clip studio but I still haven't also a lot of uh, a lot of tutorials like professional tutorials I see they use Photoshop too so that's kind of one of the reason why I stuck with Photoshop for a long time um, I must say I use clip studio paint 60% of the time and then Photoshop like 40% of the time 
so I kind of go back and forth. That's my deal. That's why I still have two programs that I use. Also, I use... If you're wondering my, about my tablet, I don't actually use uh, a Wacom tablet. I use I use a tablet that's called UGE. U, Ugi, Uge? I don't know. It's U-G-E-E. -E. Search it up. Google it. U-G-E-E -E tablet. I think it was cheaper, but... Uh, it's still, I mean, it's a pretty good tablet. It's been around for like a long time. It still hasn't broken down on me. It's still going. Now, I don't know about Wacom tablets. I don't know how durable they are, but this one has, uh, this one has uh, been pretty durable. It's got, gotten the job done. It's not as fancy as other tablets, but it gets the job done. I feel like if I go back and find my like little smaller tablet, not like the Cintiq, but the smaller tablet. I think I would, I would do pretty good still. I think I, I'm gonna have to get used to drawing without, you know, seeing the screen. I mean, drawing on the screen. But other than that, I think if I find it, if I find it, all right, I'm gonna do a piece and do a piece and not tell anyone. That I use the small tablet. I'm not even going to mention it. You guys don't, won't even know what happened. Unless. Unless I was wrong. And I'm like super terrible. With the tablet. And it's really noticeable. I don't think so. Nah. I don't think that's going to happen. It's just going to be like a bunch of stick figures. On the screen. Maybe the, maybe the next. Maybe the next piece I do is going to be the, the small tablet. You'll never know. I don't know. Those are pretty much the only programs I use for now. Uh, I mean, I started using... No, yeah, Character Animate, but that's... That's pretty much, pretty much it. So only, only Character Animate, uh, Clip Studio Paint, and Photoshop. Those are the three ones I use. So if you were wondering what, what I use, that's it. Photoshop Clip Studio Paint. Nothing else. I'm I'm sure there's going to be other programs that are better than this. Maybe there's a program out there that's the best one ever to be made, but I haven't found it. Okay, these are the ones that I use. Great. Thanks for joining me this week. Uh, I hope it was more uh, focused than last week. You guys learned something. Maybe. But I didn't go on a on a on a tangent. Okay, bye. <laughs>